Hi guys, Mark here. Thank you very much for joining me. In today's tutorial, we're going to be tying an 11 part 10 byte Turk's head onto a pinned mandrel. Here it is the knot that we're going to be tying. An 11 part 10 byte Turk's head. On a pinned mandrel, the knot is laid out quite nicely and you can easily spot the over one, under one sequence. We're also going to be tying a double top version of this knot. Our mandrel is a PVC pipe with an inner diameter of about 2 inches. The outer diameter is about 2 inches and 3 eighths. We have two sets of pins one at the top, one at the bottom. Each set has 10 pins, one for each byte. The pins are about 2 inches and 3 quarters apart from one another. So this distance here, from here to here, is about 2 inches and 3 quarters. As you can see, the pins are laid out like this, so in a zigzag pattern. To tie an 11 part 10 byte Turk's head, you're going to need about 11 feet of cord. For the double version of the knot, you're going to need double the length, so 22 feet. Finally, I highly recommend using a lacing needle. To set up for our project, we're going to mark two pins as number one. Then, at the top, we're going to find pin number six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Mark it down. Just below our first pin at the bottom, we're going to secure one end of our cord. Onto the other end, we're going to place our lacing needle. So this is our setup for a single pass of our knot. If you plan on tying a double version of the knot, take a double length of cord, so in my case 22 feet. Fold your cord in half, pass half of your cord under the rubber band. This way, you tie your knot using half of your cord, then you double it up with the other half. To tie our knot, we travel from pin 1 at the bottom to pin 6 at the top. Hook around pin 6 then travel to the next pin at the bottom, so to pin 2. Pass over 1, hook around pin 2, then move to the next pin at the top, so to pin 7. Again, passing over 1. Hook around pin 7, then travel to the next pin at the bottom, so pin 3. Here, we need to keep an over 1, under 1 sequence. In this case, we need to travel under 1, over 1.
So essentially, the opposite to Discord. So here, Discord goes over, so we go under. Hook around pin 3. Move to the next pin at the top. Here again, we do the same sequence. So under 1, over 1. Essentially, the opposite to Discord. So Discord goes over, so we go under. Hook around your next pin, then move to the bottom. Here, we need to go through three chords. This time in a sequence of over 1, under 1, over 1. So again, the opposite to our previous chord. Over 1, under 1, over 1. Hook around your next pin. Move to the top. Here, we repeat the same sequence. Over 1, under 1, over 1. So again, a sequence opposite to the sequence of the previous chord. Hook around your next pin, move to the bottom. Here, we use a sequence of under 1, over 1, under 1, over 1. like this. So again the opposite to the sequence of our previous chord. Hook around your next pin, move to the top. Under, over, under, over. Hook, move to the bottom. Again, a sequence opposite to our previous chord. So over, under, over, under, over. Hook, move to the top. Again, a sequence opposite to our previous chord. Over under, over under, over. Hook. At the top, move to the bottom. So at this point, you simply do a sequence opposite to the previous one. Hook at the bottom, move to the top.
Hook at the top. Move to the bottom. Hook around your next pin, move to the top. Hook at the top, move to the bottom. Hook around your next pin, move to the top. Hook at the top, move to the bottom. Hook around your next pin, move to the top. Hook at the top, move to the bottom. Hook around your final pin here, then place your working end alongside the standing end, like this. Tuck the working end alongside the standing end, completing a single pass of your 11 part 10 byte Turk's head. This knot is neatly laid out, and now you can either double it up or add an interweave. If you're tying a doubled version of the knot, after tying the base knot using your working hand, remove your pins.
After removing the pins, attach a lacing needle onto the long standing end, which we tucked under the rubber band at the start. Then remove the rubber band. Continue by following your working hand, which we used to tie the knot, all through the knot, doubling it up. So here, we follow it here, here, as you can see, we are doubling up the knot. Once the two ends of your cord meet up like this, you have effectively doubled up your knot. So that's how you tie an 11 part 10 byte Turk's head on a pinned mandrel. A special thanks to Jack Hicks for sending out a pinned mandrel which I could use for this demonstration. Thank you all for joining me and see you next time.